boss less special It ain't no game, but they say I'm welcome to the second level What's up, guys, and welcome to the second level. We have our uh, our buddy Jordan joining us today. Hey, uh, we're live on cam, and we're currently playing a little bit of Bloodborne. Oh. Uh, and we created our character, and as you can see, it is uh, John Lennon. Uh, because he looks a little bit like John Lennon. Well, we didn't want to get sued by no. uh, the Lennon estate. So. Yeah, by uh, what's her face? Yoko Ono, doesn't she own everything yeah, yeah, now? Yeah, yeah. yeah I think you Yoko don't want to be on the wrong side of a Yoko mm -hmm. Ono lawsuit. Uh, so, yeah. so we've we've set this all up. The only thing we haven't done yet is picked his origin, which we're gonna let Jordan explain because Jordan's the one who's played this game. Yeah. Me and Tom are just along for the ride. Yeah. Uh, so. so origins. Uh, in any other RPG, you have character classes. Origin is very similar to that. Uh, you can choose how your character grew up, essentially. Uh, you know, that adjust, essentially just adjusts various stats in the game. Uh, I chose the military veteran on my own playthrough, but it's the most well-rounded. For a first playthrough, I don't usually do anything crazy with it. I kind of just, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, do I the most balanced the most, character. Yeah. Most um, but, since we're playing with John Lennon... Since we're playing with John Lennon, uh, we figured we might do the Cruel Fate, just because it seems the most apt. Uh, a lot of, like, Souls veterans with this game do wa does Waste of Skin, uh, and that's you start pretty much in, like, your underwear with no... Tal you're nothing, talentless, yeah. you shouldn't and, have been born. <laughs> and so, a lot of people, if they're really hardcore with these particular series of games, will choose Waste of Skin, and kind of just go from what's there. The, what's the Cruel Fate? It's, it's kind of like the attempt at, like, uh, like, a complete stealth playthrough of Metal Gear, exactly or, like, right. a No Death, or... It's really just making the game harder right. for yourself yeah. at the beginning. So, Cruel Fate, uh... In case you're too young to know who John Lennon is, he actually, he's a Beatle. We... <laughs> He's a Beatle, he, uh, uh, and he I got. Think you're he, the only person here too young to know. John well, no, our viewers. I yeah. mean, we, our audience. We our found audience out is pretty young. Of a lot of underage girls. That's what <laughs> uh, so yeah. at the end of this, we will flash my number up at the. Uh, at the right <laughs> this, this 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 will change to Jordan's number. To right my here, number. Guys. I'm single, so. <laughs> Tom was trying to get me hooked up in one of the things. Yeah, yeah maybe not underage of, girls. The, uh, the only one who's not single is Tom. He's married. Yeah, I'm married, so sorry, ladies. So the only one that actually anyone wants to get with is it's taken. Tom. So, <laughs> so sorry. But, uh, so cruel fate. <laughs> uh, cruel fate. <laughs> cruel fate, which is what yeah. I will ultimately end up with as well. Um, so that is a looks like an arcane. So your stats that you have, you have vitality, which is your health, endurance is you know how much you can attack, how much you can run, dodge, so on and so forth. S Strength and skill is kind of based off of the weapons that you choose. Mm -hmm. Blood tinge? Blood, t blood tinge is a new skill for Bloodborne because there's a lot of blood in this game. Like, every single important thing has blood in it. Well, it uh, is called Bloodborne. Yeah, and it's funny to actually, like, change blood for butt. So, like, you can do, like, <laughs> butt tinge. Uh, That's like a drinking game. Yeah, it's a, it, yeah <laughs> and they mention blood every other word. Uh, and that has to do with your guns, and that's kind of a fundamental gameplay difference between this and other games in this series. And then Arcane's kind of your magic, but there's really not magic. So this character, relatively well-rounded, but he's more so mm -hmm. um, endurance and magic related. So we can do Cruel Fate. Cruel Fate. Uh, Let's finish. And we'll finish it. Are we'll finalize sure? the contract. So... What's the story of Bloodborne? What, what is going on here? Do you know? So the thing... So with Bloodborne, uh, it's created by... Hidetaki Miyazaki. What the hell the name? That's yeah, <laughs> I, was say. I feel like every important Asian person has the last name Miyazaki. Yeah. Um, Except for Miyamoto. I mean, yeah, but it still, still has Miya yeah. in it. <laughs> so, but... It's a Miya. It's a Miya. <laughs> Moto. A Mia. Moto. Uh, that's where that came from, yeah. guys. Not uh... the fact that he's Italian. It's a stereotype. <laughs> uh, so this is a part of... It's not Dark Souls, but it, this is part of the Dark Souls series. Um, and in it's the like same a vein, it's a Dark Souls it? ass, not Dark Souls yeah. game. Uh, in the same vein as the rest of the, the series, the story isn't really told to you. Uh, you gain a lot of the story insight from items and reading things that you, you know, you're talking with NPCs who are all very eccentric, uh, and you kind of just gain the story from there. So, really what you, I've kind of gathered, uh, from this is that you're in this town, this city called Yarnum, uh, and there's a hunt going on. If this is something that happens yearly, they don't really touch bases on that I've found. How far are you into the game in your save? Let's in save my that. save, which we might be able to jump into later sure. if we get time, I've been playing for about 35 to 40 okay. hours. Ish. Uh, I that, at least. Yeah, so I mean, these games are long. Like, the average play time, 
is as you can see blood. Oh. There's lots of blood, and That's this game is very much a horror game. Ter- oh, uh, you didn't warn me about yeah. that part. <laughs> well, I won't say it's horror in the same sense as like a Resident Evil, where there's jump scares, but there's a lot of grotesque imagery. There's like I don't know if you're familiar with H.P. Lovecraft. Um, Again, I, I think Tom is. is I'm just making sure familiar. Keegan's not cowering under the sofa. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if if Keegan disappears at some point, it's because I will probably. So you know what I'm scared is when I put my head down because I'm using the hat to block the yeah. TV. Yeah. That's when you know uh, I'm like. Uh, and these little guys are cute. These are called the messengers. Um, they're kind of what are all over all of the uh, the UI as you play the game. I, I wouldn't uh, say cute. Uh, they're kind of quirky. I got a little black top hats for Whoa. all of mine. That is that's a vagina face. That's a vagina face. <laughs> I was gonna say. It's a little, little HR guy. So here. little HR. We'll blur that out later. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you're in Yarnum. There's this weird sickness that's going around that's turning people into kind of beasts. Uh, and you're this this guy who's a hunter who's hunting down all of these beasts. Whoa. He's really nice. Are you doing dressed. that with the camera? Oh uh, yeah, I'm okay. spinning around. Yeah. I was just like, uh, can we? Can I ask for something? Can we pretend that this is what happened after John Lennon was shot? Oh my god! And that he came back to life, and this is like this. I would prefer this. John this, this is John Lennon. So that makes everything a little bit more interesting. Oh my god, this is gonna be fun. Like, and then instead of uh, is the person you're hunting is the killer. Is Yoko what, Ono? Yeah. No, well, what, I don't think she killed. Him, what was what was the killer's <laughs> name? Who who killed who killed John Lennon? I don't. It was, uh, oh God, man, what was his I name? Feel, I feel like that's something, come on, you should know of all people. I, can't, I don't really, honestly, like, don't. Why should Tom like, know of all people? Because he's, he's British. British. Yeah. yeah. I never was a huge beast. That's so, like saying we should know sorry. everything that happened in American history so because when you, we're American. So when you Google who killed, the first three search results are JFK, Jesus, and Medusa. Just so you, in, <laughs> case Medusa? You're, in case you're wondering. Medusa beats John Lennon for people wondering yep. who killed. Uh I guess Medusa was pretty hard to kill, though. So, technically, this guy you're not supposed to beat, he's beatable. You have to be pretty badass to beat the first giant-ass thing in the game. Yeah, it's kind of like in the, like, time you've played some RPGs, right? Yeah, correct. Yeah, so, I mean, you know there's always that one boss in the game that, like, is there, and he's just a story boss? Like you're supposed to die? Yeah. Yeah. That's what this is. So, one, so, I'll die in a second, I guarantee you, but I just don't want to necessarily... Give him a little bit of a run for his yeah. money first. And I will also to kind of talk about some gameplay stuff. So if you notice, so top left you have, you know, your health bar. The green is the stamina. Um, the cool thing is in the health bar, if you notice the little white line, it's kind of progressing down the health, the, the bar. If you get hit by an enemy, it turns to a paler red. If you actually hit, and there, I got just, that, <laughs> He's got you're going to die a lot. <laughs> so if you get hit by an enemy and you hit the enemy back, you can actually regain the health that you oh. lost from the enemy. So if you play offensively, you're going to be able to survive a little bit longer. So if, only if it's like a counter attack, though? No, if you like, so if you get hit and then you just go straight back into Whalen at the enemy, you're going to regain most of your health back. Mm, so you have your nice. standard healing, but you also, if you play offensively, you play smart, you are going to gain back health. Uh, we just saw the loading screen. If there's one thing that I think this game does poorly, it's, it's the load the times. Um, <laughs> load times... Which happen when you go to this location where now, when you die, are about 30 to 45 seconds every single load time. I might have Ooh, to put a death hurt. counter yeah. on here, depending on how much we die. Uh, <laughs> That's a cool move. Yeah, uh, this game is fucking beautiful. By like, the way, Mark, Mark David Chapman is the dude who killed John Lennon. That's who we're going after. Uh, so we're, kill- we're going to kill Mark, Mark David, David Chapman. Chapman. So, yeah, this game is really pretty. Like, I dig the art style. I dig that, what they're that doing with it. Just, uh, it's definitely Lovecraftian. Yeah, it's yeah it's and... Like, gothic uh, castles and so this is this doll who kind of later she will help you level up this, so this is your kind of your your level area those are little creepy what? guys yeah they're, those are those little messengers so oh. the thing with dark souls or bloodborne is that this game doesn't hold your hand like a lot of people will leave without getting weapons your weapons are up that way but i'll kind of just show you what else is here this is called your hunter's dream uh so this is kind of i think like a Purgatory esque. Right, right. Uh, so the game doesn't tell you how to actually play the game. Hold up, go to the go to the fence there and just look out. Is there just nothing there? Yeah, there's nothing there. What are the poles for? Just the just, just for the hell of it? It's just it's surreal. Those creatures oh. out there somewhere. So the game, like you have these little notes right here, and this is actually showing you how to play the game. So I found these 
about five to ten hours into the game. <laughs> uh, luckily, I had played other Dark Souls games enough. Like, Dark Souls 1, when I finally got into it, I spent about 140 hours on Dark Souls 1. So, Jesus. stupid question. You keep saying it's it's very similar to Dark Souls because it's the same thing. Yeah. So, if you've played Dark Souls, it'll feel very familiar. It will feel I'm very familiar. I'm guessing if you haven't, it'll be a complete clusterfuck until you figure out what you're doing. It will, but there's an. I think that this game is easier than any of the Dark Souls ever were. Um, and I think that the style of gameplay, Dark Souls is very much a defensive based game. Mm -hmm. Where uh, Bloodborne, they got rid of most defensive things and it's very much an offensive it's kind of creepy game. Thing to sit back. Uh, yeah, yeah this is back. how you. So, Blood Echoes are your form of currency. Um, and you can go through buy different items and things like that. There's nothing in there, though. So, uh, this is where you go to buy items, level up. A lot of pe this is missable. So you actually getting your first levels in the game or your first weapons in the game is actually missable. <laughs> uh, and a lot of people will go like six hours just punching things. <laughs> so so wait, if you miss those, there's no weapons to. Like... No, you can go back here okay. and get them, but okay. it's just they don't tell you yes. that, that you're supposed to. Yeah. yeah. So the thing with this game is that all these weapons are what they call trick weapons. So you can transform these weapons into a different form of it. So saw cleaver starts off as like a short handed, like fast one handed weapon. The saw can flip out and turn into kind of like a heavy one-hand weapon. Nice. Hunter X goes from single-handed to dual-handed. Threaded Cane is kind of like a rapier, but it turns into like a chain whip if you transform it. Uh, so I guess with this... What would John Lennon have? What would John Lennon have? I think Probably John Lennon would have the cane, right? Yeah. yeah, that's what I was thinking initially was the cane. Uh, so we got that, and I feel we like we're getting through. every time we make a decision, what would John Lennon have? <laughs> what would John Lennon have? So yeah, you have your cane here, right here, <laughs> and then if you press L1... Whoa! Oh, hello. I mean, oh, yeah, John Lennon is some And then you have charge attacks that you can do. And the cool thing is, is that you can Wait, actually... Wait, so hold up, hold up. Can you pause it when it's, like, down? Like, when it changes to the, the cane and then goes back, it stays... See how it's still the mm -hmm. chain? Yeah, it's just it's just badass looking. That is so cool. Uh, and the cool thing is, is that you can actually transform your weapon mid-combo and continue to attack an enemy mid-combo. So that what? was me like, doing uh, it mid-combo. Dude. Like Devil May Cry. Yeah. yeah. Um, and you and I talked about that the other day, how this game was kind of like if Dark Souls met up with Devil May Cry. If they, if they had a child. Kind of what this would be. And then you also have your firearm. So the biggest thing about this game is that we have firearms instead of shields. They function uh, exactly the same. So instead of you blocking, you can shoot enemies... And then kind of do like a like critical hit a little on bit. Them. Exactly right. So I like the blunderbuss. It's a well, shotgun, close range. But what did John Lennon die from? Do you know? It was a sniper rifle. Wasn't so it? We'll no, go. that was. Uh, I feel like he'd GFK. have a pistol. That's what I was thinking. Pistol. Because he was shot in close range, wasn't he? No, I think he was. He, a, yeah, he was shot. In, he was no, he was shot in close range. Sniped was JFK. I know JFK was sniped, but I thought I always thought John Lennon was. Like, no, because John Lennon was coming out, and the guy was standing there for hours. I don't remember. Come out of the hotel. I can't remember what the name of the hotel like I is. I failed as an English person. You have. I'm sorry, guys. Well, I've, I watched a documentary not too long ago on okay. on him, too. So. I just honestly, I've never been the biggest Beatles fan. I know that's sacrilege. I, I, have, I uh, never was either. Yeah, they're okay. I appreciate them for what they've done for music. You I sound like everybody who's like, Neh. enjoyed listening. I named my Hermit Crabs when I... Hermit Crabs. Not <laughs> your, Hermit Crabs. Your Hermit Crabs? Uh, uh, I named my Hermit, hermit crabs. crabs. Were they delicious? Uh, they were. I named, <laughs> them after, I named them after the Beatles because my parents were really big into the Beatles and I was like... Like six, and I didn't know any better, and so I named him after the Beatles. Uh, John was the first one to die, uh, <laughs> was, uh... which was ironic. Uh, I, I was like, "Well, this is well." Now that I'm an adult, I'm like, "Well, that makes sense." Um, who's the Who's the other dead one now? Uh, Paul McCartney and Ringo. Harrison. Oh, George Harrison. I was like, yeah. "Who's the Who's I missing?" Ringo is still around, but most people forget about him. Uh, uh, and Ringo. Paul McCartney. I love Ringo. So you should be able to own this guy now. Yeah, I should be able to completely kill him. So what you'll notice too, you notice how oh, if I equip my weapon, you notice how it's. <laughs> His eyes are actually glowing right now. Yeah. So, with the Souls games... Uh, oh. I'm going to see if I can... Oh. Oh. Don't die. I don't think uh, you can stun him. He's unstunnable. <laughs> Number one stunner. Number one. So, Whoa. with the... Wow. Yeah. wow. <laughs> Uh, that and was I a hell of a lot easier. Yeah, and I got a blood <laughs> vial now, which allows you to heal. Um, nice. So with the Souls games, usually when you die, you drop your, your souls or whatever, and then you have to fight back to you know the location that you died, and you can retrieve them. This game has a similar concept where they'll drop, you'll drop your blood, or enemies will consume it. Their eyes will then glow, and you have to kill the enemy that killed you. Uh. Um, so it kind of it, it's a really interesting mechanic, and so it just teaches you to get hold better. Yeah. yeah, to hold <laughs> grudges. So this game really is just teaching you how to be an adult. 
And I think we're going to hold it here before we get into the rest of the world, guys. Uh, thanks again for watching. I hope you're enjoying this John Lennon character. It's kind of put some fun little twist on this to play as John Lennon. Like, what would he do? But if you like what you see, don't forget to like, subscribe. That's hitting the like button and hitting that big subscribe button. Thanks again, and welcome to the second level. So, uh, this right. is the first game Tom is controlling, so I'm actually just, like, looking at things. And it's beautiful. Yeah. Like, it's I'm glad weird, because when you play it, you're focused on what...